good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel it's been a long time since we've spoken and that's because i have been extremely busy and there's a lot of change going on in my life at the minute excuse my very tired looking face and my groggy sounding voice it is very early in the morning i've just woken up it's monday and i'm heading into the office today which is not normally a day i work in the office i normally work from home but i have just started in a new team at work today so you guys know i'm on a technology graduate scheme and as part of that i rotate into different teams so last week was the last week in my previous team and this is the first week in my new team i was very very sad to be leaving my old team i really really enjoyed my time there i loved the work i was doing i loved the people i loved the culture I loved my whole six months so yes very sad but very excited to be starting my new team i'm basically on a seven week project where we're told to find a business problem come up with a solution and then build a tech product to solve that problem and i get put into a team of i think three or four so there'll be other technology graduates in my team a cyber security grad i think a software engineering grad maybe a program management grad and myself a product manager and yeah we've just got seven weeks to go away do research build things so it's going to be really really fun and exciting i get to meet the incoming grads today so that's all fun as well meeting new people gosh i sound really groggy i should have probably drank a sip of my tea before i started speaking to you all but um yeah, I'm going to crack on and get ready because I need to make it to the office, especially today of all days, on time to meet the new grads, meet my new grad program mentors and be fully switched on and focused for learning. But it is very dark right now, like I'm not sure you can, oh actually it's getting lighter, it is getting lighter, but it's getting darker and darker in the mornings, which I am not here for. I love an early morning and it's really hard to get out of bed when it's pitch black outside, so that's probably why I feel so tired, even though technically i'm up later than i normally would be but anyway i'm going to start getting ready because i need to get a full face of makeup on and get ready and out of that door <laughs> shoes on always in a rush because i give myself loads of time and then i think it's fine i've got loads of time i don't need to rush so then i go slowly and then i end up running slightly late and i won't care i'm catching an even later train than i normally do normally i have to leave the house at 7 30 whereas today i'm leaving at 8 and catching a quarter past 8 train instead but here we are still rushing as ever anyway my shoes are on Ooh, with all of one minute spare i'm gonna die into the office right now and it's so quiet like normally i come in on a tuesday wednesday or thursday like two of day two days out of those three um and obviously it's a monday but my goodness i thought it was going to be busier than this there's a lot of like school kids around obviously but no one seems to be heading to my office um so that's a bit strange but it's kind of nice and it's actually a lot cooler here than it is in london which is giving me a lot more autumnal vibes and autumn is my favorite season so i love it i'm here for it it's still mild like i'm just in this shirt but i'm very ready for autumn <laughs>
not an utterly insane and hectic day but super fun i met loads of new grads and chatted to everyone mingled got to know them found out the group i'm going to be working in for the next seven weeks and i think we're onto a winner everyone's super friendly and have loads of ideas so i'm very very excited that said today was a little bit frantic because my company have given us all macbooks for the sake of the seven week project because it's easier when it gets to the coding stage yes i will be learning how to code i don't know how if someone could teach me how they deserve a medal but here we are we're all going to chip in and do one another's roles so even though i'm a product manager the other grad in my team is a program manager one of them is a software engineer and we're all going to teach each other how to do one another's roles to help us learn about collaboration and how everyone works in the team and why we do things certain ways so looking forward to that but yes sidetracked we all got given Macs because it's easier when we get to the coding stage if we're all using Macs and none of our laptops were working everyone was having laptop issues I pretty much sat in IT support all day long and my laptop issues still are not resolved so fingers crossed I can resolve those tomorrow but I did find out we're actually working from home even though I expected to be in the office so that's nice I can actually relax a little bit because today was just super super busy and then afterwards we all popped to the pub which was lovely only had one it didn't actually like drink drink but I wanted to go show my face be around everybody outside of work just to sort of say like here we are for the next seven weeks and here's me and nice to meet you all and yeah like not have that work environment where you're just talking about work and we're actually getting to know each other outside of that so that was really lovely as well and then came home and had the stress of having to cook a curry from scratch which was utterly delicious I must say I used a different kind of curry powder from what I normally get and it was just delightful so very very pleased with that but it did take me an hour it's now like quarter past eight I still haven't showered I feel sweaty and messy and busy and I just want to shower put my pajamas on get my diffuser on and my fan and my window open and just cool down and breathe for five minutes because today has just been non-stop working from home today I had a nice very slow morning like woke up early listened to some slow piano music or like country folky style stuff which I love so it was just very easy got up had my breakfast chilled in bed for a bit and then spent the morning googling ideas for my seven week project that I'm doing it's up to us to define the scope of that which area of the business we're going to look into what problems we want to look into so just absolutely huge and I'm trying to like 10 exit and just think out of this world and I just woke up like excited and brimming with ideas I can't wait to get logged in and talk to my teammates about it it's it's very exciting it's like being on a uni project again and I haven't felt this sort of excited about a new piece of work in a long time so very very fun and I like the creativity of it all I'm such a creative brain and an analytical brain so this gives me the chance to cater to both yes yeah, so very exciting I sound like such a nerd being like I can't wait to get into work and discuss my ideas but it's just something new it's different I've not done anything like this before in work outside of work it's basically like a seven week hackathon which is super fun I'm gonna set up my laptop I do have two laptops today because I couldn't get the Mac to get working yesterday as I said spent most of the day in IT support so gonna try and get that sorted this morning but if not I'm gonna have to resort to my Windows PC which is fine because I know exactly what I'm doing on that so that's my first task of the morning then get brainstorming <laughs> Thank you. 
I am just on my lunch break. The morning has been super productive. Managed to get a call in with my team. We've all been brainstorming individually and we're gonna regroup after lunch. It's been so great just to creatively think again and have no limits and literally just think of the craziest, wildest, probably non-feasible ideas that I could possibly think of. But it's just, yeah, it's been really exciting and challenging and new and just different from what I'm used to doing. So spent the morning doing that. Yeah, just having my lunch now. A very, very tasty beetroot feta and hummus sandwich on sourdough. Mm. I do love cooking. I like trying new recipes and we are coming into winter now. So switching from my summer salads into my hearty sandwiches. And before you know it, it'll be super cold and I'll be switching to soups. That said, you wouldn't really be able to tell today because my curtains are pulled shut slightly because the sun is so bright and it's so warm. So I think I'm gonna head out on a little walk this lunch break just to get some fresh air, move my legs, enjoy the sun and be back at my desk in half an hour's time to regroup on a big group call. Double, double points, triple points. Ah, I see. Cool. Yeah. Which again, when we're when we're getting to like data points, like there are so there's so much data we can access that we could optimize and have an algorithm that that does that to make sure that yeah. Mm mm. That sounds really cool. Yeah, I guess that's one to like, if we were getting into the details of it, would it be the supplier or us that produced that? Um, yeah. I feel like this one's definitely one that's in the pipeline, but it's such a clever idea. It's one that's worth bringing to the forum on Friday just to see what they have to say about it. And that is the working day all done. It's been super productive. We've come up with so many good ideas. We just work together as such a good team from like brainstorming everything to then thematizing it, then ranking it and discussing all of our priorities, pros, cons, why we wanted certain ideas to progress. And then we're gonna regroup tomorrow. So that's looking really good. And yeah, I can't wait to be back in the office again and actually see everyone. I'm in a couple of workshops and things. So it's gonna be a very busy day but really happy with the progress we've made. I think we're a lot further in the process than I thought we would be. And we've got to like a top seven ideas list, which is insane. Like seven's quite a lot of ideas to have. I imagine most teams will have like a one or two standout ideas, but I think we had about 25 total ideas and then managed to narrow it down to seven. So more is it always better than less, I guess. And now I'm packing up for the day, about to log off and I'm gonna head to the gym and then yeah, relax for the rest of the evening, get ready to kick it all off again tomorrow. I am back in from the gym and just doing a bit of meal prep, doing my sandwich for lunch tomorrow because I'm in office and I have this pre-made curry that luckily I made yesterday night that I can just heat up. So I've got my rice on. I'm gonna dish this out and heat it up. Sorry for the weird angle. The bench in the kitchen is really weird. So when I stand up fully, you actually can't see my head. So I'm weirdly crouched to try and speak to you guys but i wanted to update you on what i'm doing i can like, probably show you my curry it's a paneer jalfrezi which has reminded me i actually have not done the paneer so that would be a good start but yeah this is my this is my jalfrezi curry it's actually super tasty Let's see if i can get it to focus i've not made one of these before but i tried it for the first time yesterday and it was delicious so i'm very excited to have that for dinner tonight and I'm glad I spoke to you guys because now I'm not going to forget to put the paneer in. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear me over the sizzling but I accidentally cut my paneer cubes too small 
They're very, very tiny, but hopefully it just as tasty. Voila, this is the curry finished. That was the worst choice of catchphrase for an Indian dish, but this is it, my paneer jalfrezi. I can't remember if I showed you it last night. It's got green peppers. Oh, there's my finger. Green peppers, <laughs> tomatoes, red peppers, um, curry powder, paneer. What else is in there? I can't remember, but it is very, very tasty and I'm looking forward to tucking it in. It is 6.30 a.m. and it's literally pitch black outside. I mean, at least my fairy lights look cute, but I'm having to set an alarm now and I'm feeling tired when I get up, which doesn't happen through summer. So I'm like, oh no, we're finally coming into autumn awesome winter. Like I love autumn, it's my favorite season. I love the colors, I love the smells, I love the pumpkin spice drinks, the coziness of it all. I love a little bit of chill in the air, but I do not like the darkness. This is really hard to get up in the morning, especially today because I'm heading into work slightly earlier than normal. I'm gonna try to get there for about 8 20 8 30 because they're doing like a grad scheme breakfast this morning so like croissants and fruit and things and they're always really nice opportunities to meet people and socialize especially with the new grads having just started at my company so i did plan on going in for that which is why i'm up so early and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start getting ready and try and wake myself up a little bit because i am feeling groggy <laughs> It has finally started to lighten up a bit. It's like 20 past seven now. Yes, that scaffolding is still there. It's been there for about a month now. Still obscuring my view. I still can't open my window properly, but at least I can see some daylight out. So that's gonna make the walk to the train station a little bit more pleasant. me finished for the day unfortunately I didn't get to vlog much of it because I was in back-to-back -back workshops all day with all the other grads learning lots of cool things about design design theory design thinking UX UI sort of stuff which I find really exciting it's the most fun part of my job I feel I really enjoy the discovery user research side and the sessions did finish slightly early at four o'clock so i am walking off to the train station now unfortunately my laptop issues did not get resolved in fact they just got worse i'm on to laptop number three now and still causing issues i don't think they're going to give me a new one i think they're still trying to fix my existing one but back in tomorrow hopefully i can get that fixed then and actually start doing proper work but we'll see at least today it was just listening to talks and i didn't actually need my laptop and i was still able to take notes on it but uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I get in the house I guess because at the minute I'm just trying to power walk to the station so I don't miss my train. I have decided to take the longer scenic walk back home tonight despite the fact that it's raining or trying to rain or splitting on or potentially the rain's already passed I'm not sure I can't really tell but I wanted to get a bit of fresh air after being in a stuffy room in back-to-back -back workshops all day So there's this vegan burger place in London that my flatmate and I love. I'm not vegan, he's vegan, I'm vegetarian. And we found out at the weekend that it's closing down, unfortunately. They don't have that many branches in London. I'm not sure what's happening or why they're closing down because it does seem quite popular. Maybe it's just in a bit of an out the way area and it's not, it's not doing so well. So sadly that will be shutting down, but we literally found out on the weekend and it's closing tonight, Wednesday night. So it's just been such a fast turnaround, but to say my last goodbyes. I, ne I never really buy fast food or burgers, but because it's specifically vegan vegetarian food and there aren't many fast food restaurants that cater to that, I wanted to pop in and get one last 
vegan ready meal, vegan ready meal, vegan fast food meal, um, chicken nuggets and chips before they go. And yeah, that'll be the last time I taste it. There were so many things on the menu I actually didn't get to try. I've only been once or twice. Um, and I always got the burger and chips. And they had these like vegan chicken strips or like chicken tenders. And they were what I wanted to try tonight or the chicken burger, but they're obviously all out of stock because they're closing down. So all they had left was the six chicken nuggets meal, which I think are in this little bag here. And then I went for the large fries tasty and a can of diet coke so that was like their equivalent of a mcdonald's like happy meal i guess or like what do you call it like a meal meal deal like a bundle meal that they do um got my trusty ketchup can't be having dry chips or dry nuggets but yeah that's my dinner for tonight a little treat to myself why not i never do fast food and it's a special occasion because it's closing down so i'll never be able to get it again and I'm going to tuck into this and I'll give you a nugget rating afterwards because I've not actually tried them before. Ooh, they're a lot smaller than I was expecting, but we'll see how they taste. Here we go. First bite. See how it tastes. Mmm. Kind of tastes like corn. I like the texture, the taste and the consistency, but I definitely would have preferred like a chicken strip or a chicken tender to like these breaded nugget ones because they kind of remind me of fish fingers and even before I went vegetarian I never liked fish and didn't eat fish fingers or maybe more like you know those cheap chicken goujon type things you get but all in all good flavor so yeah it's a win I'm glad I still tried them before they show up because otherwise I would have been like I wonder what they taste like I always wanted to try so cheers to ready burger and rest in peace <laughs> because they are shutting Good morning and happy Thursday. I am up bright and early. The time is 6.32 because I'm in office again today. Now I don't normally do a three day working week. My company's policy is two days in office or more if you want, but flexible working and normally I do the rest from home. But it's a bit of a different week. Obviously I've started my new job. That said, I'm not sure I actually told you at the start of the week that I'll be dipping out of my new role and my new team for Thursday and Friday because I'm doing a hackathon, which is super exciting. I've never done a hackathon before. It's my first one. I'm doing it with my old team that I've just left. So I only left them last week and they did say if I wanted to come back for two days of fun to do a hackathon with my software engineers who are all based out in India. If I wanted to, I could come back and join in because you know it's all part of team spirit and it's a nice way of me saying goodbye to the rest of the team and a nice little send off so i signed up and i've never done one before if you don't know what a hackathon is it's essentially um either 24 hours or in our case we've got two days to come up with an innovative concept to a problem and then build technology to solve that problem and you do it in a really short space of time so yeah we've got two days to just build a solution to a business problem and then code it and make some sort of working prototype to then showcase back to the rest of the business the rest of my like department that i was in and then they'll vote on a winner so i'm super excited i do not know how to code and i imagine the software engineers will take over that part of the of the job obviously in the new team i'm in i will be learning a little bit of code but for the sake of the hackathon, we want to get something built quickly. So they'll be handling that side. I'll be handling the more product management side. So probably like building out the storyboards or the design files or like coming up with ideas, building out the presentation to present back. So all really exciting stuff. I don't know what to expect. I have heard there will be free goodie bags and t-shirts and I think they're ordering food in. So I literally can't wait to try my first hackathon. I don't know what to expect, but... Yeah, I am excited, so worth dragging myself into the office for a third day this week for. <laughs>
Yeah. I think that's how they do it with the Too Good To Go app. On, on Too Good To Go, they have like vegetarian, vegan, meat, and then allergens present, like allergens that could be present, and they specify. That covers us. That's safe and legal. <laughs> I am back in after my crazy day or first day of hackathoning and I am absolutely shattered. I'm so tired. It's just been 100 miles an hour non-stop just thinking, ideating, coming up with problems, coming up with solutions, finding problems to the solutions and just talking around in circles and I'm still not finished. I've got in the house but I would quite like to do a couple of things to put into my presentation. The thing is my, the rest of my team are based in India so there's a four and a half hour time difference. That means they'll be starting earlier than I start tomorrow and I would quite like to leave the presentation in a place that's ready to hand over to them for them to pick up and start doing the build work and the coding. So I would like to get that tidied up. I know it's outside of my work hours but it is all fun and games and I'll probably clock off early tomorrow anyway because it's a Friday and all of the grads are going out for a social um, to a nice, I don't know if it's like a club or some kind of venue that has live music that I think turns into a club so we're all going to be celebrating tomorrow anyway so I don't mind doing a little bit extra tonight to get things over the line and go to bed with peace of mind not thinking about all the things I want to put into the presentation but it's been so much fun and it's been so nice working with the engineers and just thinking about creative innovative things talking about new and emerging technologies like chat GPT, just out of the ordinary stuff we wouldn't do as part of the day job. So I am really enjoying it. I also got a bunch of freebies, which I'm dying to show you guys the best part of a hackathon. And they ordered in so much pizza for lunch today. I went for the vegetarian op option, which was like a veggie pizza. So like peppers and mushrooms and onions and all the works on it. And that was absolutely delicious. Garlic dips, these really tasty mini potatoes as well. I'm all about the hackathon for the free food. That, that's the main reason I'm here. I mean, we also want to win. We also like working together, but free food and free t-shirts and things. So I'm going to turn this camera around and show you guys that sort of stuff and then get cracking on with storyboarding and presentation making, which fun way to spend my evening, but it'll be good and rewarding when it's done. So these are just some of the free things that we got today. I was about to take this out and it's going to make loads of rustling noise and you probably won't hear me, but in here is a t-shirt. If I can do this one-handed, I'll be very impressed with myself. Hang on, let me pause and I'll unravel it. So this is the Tech Hackathon t-shirt. How cute is this? This little light bulb that looks like code. And then we also got a pen and a flask. So this is the flask. It's pretty nifty design to be fair. And it's quite like sturdy. Again, technology change, that's the department I'm in. Technology change hackathon is not really focusing on that. I don't know if you can see. There we are with this cute little grip on it. And then over here, we have the Technology Change Hackathon pen. So I've got a full set over here, which is quite cute. Feeling very pleased with my freebies and my pizza today. And now to get on with the presentation design, any wireframing, process flow, writing, diagrams, stats, you name it, that's my evening. Good morning and happy Friday. Today is my last day of the working week and the last day of the hackathon. I've already been checking Microsoft Teams on my phone this morning to check on the progress of the engineers. Obviously with the time difference, they've already logged on and started. And I can just see them copying and pasting bulk lines of code into the chat that I do not understand, that I cannot read, but sounds good to me. It looks like we're making progress and they seem to have used the PowerPoint and the resources I pulled together last night to inform that so I feel like I've been a real part of it and that's really rewarding and exciting because even though I can't code I still want to get involved as much as I can and learn from them 
So the fact that they've kind of taken the concept I've come up with and the process flows and the diagrams and the storyboards and actually started building something from that is really exciting. So I can't wait to log on, get onto a group call, dial in, see them all in the room and see what they're up to. And oh my goodness, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's really, really windy outside. There's a bit of a storm at the minute and it's absolutely tipping it down with rain, which I don't mind. I like the cozy feel. It seems, you know, very autumnal and cozy and warm inside and yeah, it's that sort of like cup of tea in a book weather, which is what I've spent my morning doing, just finishing off my book for the morning, book number 38 of the year. So I've smashed my reading target, which I feel good about. Anyway, I'm going on a bit of a ramble. I need to log in and see where we're up to and what I need to add to the PowerPoint because at lunchtime, it's presentation time to see who's gonna win. There are 30 teams, all 30 of us have five minutes to present each, two minutes of Q&A, and then there's a final round where this top six teams progress and then a panel of judges decide who wins and apparently there's a prize so we'll see how well we do but it's the taking part that counts right <laughs> So out of 30 teams, my team made it to the top six, which meant we had to go back and present our presentations for a second time to a bigger panel of judges, and they've just announced the results, and we came in <laughs> second place. I am so proud of my team and so happy. Like, I never expected that at all. I know it's not first place, but to be honest, I don't even care because I didn't expect... Sorry, my camera battery died. As I was saying, I didn't even expect to make the top six, never mind to come second. So this is a huge win for us. And not to mention, I was the only grad leading a team. I was competing against very experienced colleagues who have years of experience in the field and have done multiple hackathons. This was my first hackathon and I'm the youngest participant, I think, youngest like product manager leading a team. So to come second, I'm I'm so proud and my engineers just pulled it out of the bag, the stuff they coded, the UI they made, all of the back end work to plug into chat GPT, like so much complexity in two days. I just can't believe we've managed to do this. So yeah, very, very proud. It's nearly the end of the day. I think I'm gonna clock off early because I worked quite late last night. Hop in the shower and get ready to go out tonight and celebrate. All the grads are going for drinks and yeah, I'm just feeling that weekend party spirit already. What a great way to end the week. I am all dressed and ready to go out tonight. It sounds like it's raining. Fingers crossed that stops because I do need to walk to the bus stop and then walk to the venue on the other end. And I wasn't planning on bringing an umbrella or a raincoat. So yeah, that could be dreadful. Maybe I need to reevaluate that plan. But yeah, I'm about to head out. I think I will leave this vlog here. I'm going to go out and party and celebrate our second place victory and making it to the end of the first week in my new team. I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and starting my new job with me and seeing what it's like to um, be in a hackathon as well because that's a really random part of this week that happened to happen. So thanks as ever for watching everybody. Let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this vlog and if you'd like to see more tech related content and grad related content and I'll see you all next week. Thanks all. Goodbye.